Who's ready? Blimey! Twelve years ago, Sirius Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Imagine it! A single curse! Is it really that hard to believe? Get out of here! Can't you keep that monster under control? Now I'm gonna have to find scabbers. Calm down, Bron. You don't want to wake up Professor Lupin, our new defense against the dark arts teacher. I'll help you find scabbers. Come on. I think scabbers went that way. Come on, Harry. Scabbers went this way. Come here, you little... Oh, no. <laughs> Go and find scabbers. Well, look, well, who, it look who it is. Pee -pee and, and the poop. And the weasel. I should have known this pathetic excuse for a rat had something to do with you. You've been back now, boy. Or what, Weasley? Or, uh, or oh. Richter Sempra. You asked for it, Malfoy. Thanks, Ron. Of a barn, Weasley. Damn it, Harry. Okay, I guess we got him. Can't see him, but we got him. So. Smiling on the other side of your face now, aren't you, Malfoy? Come on, Ron. Why the train stop? Something moving out there. Thank God Ron's not going to be hurt by any of the glass breaking, shattering right above him. I've got to get Harry out of this carriage. What? Are you okay? What? Yeah. What happened? Who screamed? No one screamed. But I heard screaming. Here, eat it. It'll help. What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. Are you sure you're okay? Yo, what up, Willow? Good morning. Text this book, Harry. I'm sure it'll help. It has a few pages missing, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them at Hogwarts. At long last, the Hogwarts Express reached its destination, and soon, Harry and his friends 
we're safely in Gryffindor. I did play HP3 GBA. I actually just finished learning HP2 GBA, which I will play on stream relatively soon here. And then I want to learn 5 and 1 on GBA, and that puts me even closer to doing a fucking handheld octofecta like a well-adjusted person would do. Harry felt he was home at last. Harry, did you have a look at the folio brutai that Lupin gave you then? No, not yet. Come on, let's have a look at it then. Anything but the good ones. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Come on, show me the folio brutai. That's wicked. That's so cool. Let's go show it to Hermione. Wiki. Never so seen a I'm fucking really book upset. before, have you, Ron? I've got so much work to do. But you know you said you had lots of trouble with Draco on the train. Yes. <laughs> well, you could have made it so much easier for yourself with the Expelliarmus spell. You just can't get over this. Like, you spent a whole thing last game learning Expelliarmus, and then you relearn it this game. Incredible. I remember the Expelliarmus spell. Oh, cost Flipendo at me and I'll use Expelliarmus. Yo, what up, Johnny? You cast Flipendo at me. You ready to cast oh, Flipendo? Come on. Thanks for the oh. GL. Appreciate it, man. Right. Now it's my turn. I'll cast Flipendo at you, and you use Expelliarmus to knock my spells away. Get ready then. Three, two, one. That's it. Come on, Ron. That was cool. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go and see Fred and George. What villains are these that trespass upon? Come on, Fred and George are on the sixth floor. Shut up, you. You'll be snuggled up in your little baby bed right now. What's it to you? Well, if you're gonna be like that, here's a little bedtime story to keep you busy. Rip. Aim at the spell book. Harry Parker. Uh, it's uh, HP five, I believe. Right. Let's go and find Fred and George. Thanks for sorting out peeves, by the way. You really know how to cast that Expelliarmus spell. Got the cameras, fucky here. Fred, George, what do you got to show us then? Something really special. This way. Within this room is the entrance to a secret passage, beyond which you will find the Marauder's Map, a magical parchment that shows you everything you will ever need to know about Hogwarts. But can it show you why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? Yes. Indeed there is, young Harry. And we're sure that one of you will be able to find it. Ron? Look. Hey, there's something odd about that wall over there. Dude, I can't believe people are just British for attention. It's insane. They grow up. Gentlemen, if you'd like to step inside.
Wow, one second gold. Wow. The map's up there. We're down here. Yeah, we're down here. But up. Incredible Those joke, Ron. Dare to take the leap must also take care of their friends. Every flavor bean. That switch. Harry, can you get to it? <clears throat> A birdie bots every flavor bean. <clears throat> Take it steady. All right, guys, we got a clip coming up here. Let's get it nice and quick. Aha! The old Weasley touch does it again. Friends must work together. Things and stuff. Got it. What's all this do then? Close. The, the, these super slides are really awkward. I hate when you're like relying on AI to do things for you. Oh, the light beam is being blocked by that big thing. Close, man. Can you stop? Oh, jeez. One of those things that gets really tilting really quickly. Another puzzle. Oh, great. No good. Run on the side of this to be able to jump off of it instead of re grabbing yes. the second rope. Yeah, like that. That's good. Know that help is always at hand for every true mischief maker. Excellent sound mixing in these game. SA2 would be so proud. Can you? Oh, his RNG is incredible.
What? Yo, thanks for the GL Dabby Dabs. Surreptitiousness. Oh, yes. Oh, please step through, young sir. Alrighty. These games love the sneakies. Don't know why. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just like, what other kind of gameplay can you do besides just one battles? That's what I assume they're going for. Alright, hopefully we can get past him in one try. Sometimes he's finicky. Oh, that's not gonna work. Why does he cough like that? I'm almost certain it was not meant to be Snape there, given that cough sound effect. That sounds like Filch. Brilliant. Well, our job here is done. Feel free to come by any time. We're sure to have something of interest. And at a very reasonable price. Hey, look. You remember all splashing? Do you want to have a look at your task list and see what it means? <sighs> Thought so? Bilch is not in this one, I don't Harry think. Ron got up Bilch isn't in any of the console games. Their first defense against the dark arts club. Unless he's However, in not the restricted section part of HP1, and we skipped that, so I wouldn't know. But he's not uh, in HP2 or 3. The dark arts class. He's in the Game Boy versions. In the Game Boy Color versions. Yeah, I know. I do think it's interesting how even between the five games, there's still a lot, there's like so much variance in how they designed Hogwarts and the general look of everything, despite the fact that they're also like using a lot of the same assets and voice actors and stuff. It's very interesting. Also, you can skip text on all of the trick down. Otherwise, you'll have to react. I have said the sleeping thing. I play games and I watch his dream or whatever. Oh, so true, Yorb. Oh, video for analyzing dog attempts, the part would be inconsistent. You know, with HTD, the loads are so fast, I don't have time to read Yorb's bullshit in between loads. That's crazy. Alright, guys, another funny skip coming up. I'm sure it won't take us 16 tries. I would like you to go in there and bring back the Glacier Spellbook. 
I mean, so I don't know if you're if I've told you, but that bot's been fed on like six years worth of shit posting from the banjo community before it was then put into people's Twitch chats to then e learn even more shit posts. That bot is, that bot is trained on the shittiest of the shit posts. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Glow. This, this guy is hit by a triple spell. Holy shit. Does it look at the directory? No, it was just like trained on those initially. So like I think whatever, whatever, it, like it's just trained on a bunch of stuff from the Discord, and then it was later on like it like saves all the chat messages that come in and tries to replicate them. Yo, morning, Arb. It's an Elmo kind of day. You can move Harry in this cutscene here. So I'm holding forward. I'm going to switch to holding upright. And yeah, we're near the switch there. It's really hard to blindly move him though. But you can get him right up onto the switch. Elmo will be so happy to see me. I know. I have a long weekend. I can practice all the Elmo I need to practice. For reference though. Are the PS1 game and the N64 this game the same? Like, are they have the same mini games or are they like different games? Okay, let's get this first try. Very close. Surprised that didn't work actually. Okay, bad angle. Oh, that was perfect. Why didn't you do it? <sighs> Harry, please. Cold. No, these angles are so good. What is wrong with you? That angle's not good. That one's also not good. Okay, this maybe. Oh, you stupid bitch. Harry, why? This fucking guy never wants to move in the right direction. Dude, he's not sliding. Oh my god, these angles. These are perfect angles, but he's not doing the slide. That's why this is dying right now. Come on. You can make it. Okay, now he does the slide, but he's not... Uh... Yay, 40th try. All right, guys, hope and pray that he doesn't get pushed through the floor. Okay, we did it. Despite the mistakes, we're going to continue because last run I couldn't get him through that wall, and now we got him through, so... Am I so bad at this game, man? Uh. 
bro. I'm so fucking excited for an in-person GDQ. I've been wanting to go to one for so long, and now it's gonna be real. Really gonna go to GDQ. Get to meet all the speed people in person. I'll bring my 3DS, make people play games. It'll be great. Wow, I can't believe she just like hits that from behind like that. Yeah, so the skips weren't- I'm not happy with how the skips went, but we can save so much time on improved movement that, like, it probably won't matter in the end. But it's just like, you know, it's annoying because the skips are the stuff that I practice the most, so it's like, blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean? Oh boy, <laughs> you can still see my flipendo. Oh, this is just brilliant. What a fucking challenge for your students, eh? Nothing like a life or death situation. It's fucked up, man. I'm gonna give these kids like PTSD. Sound effects are really having a good time. We did it! Dead. Wait, Ron FaceTime. Stupid fucking face.
Nice quad. Look at that. We saved like a minute there. Jeez. Well done. Harry, Ron, Hermione. An excellent performance. 50 house points for Gryffindor. 50 that house poops for, for Gryffindor. Day. Class dismissed. Harry? Can you show me how you made the Dementor back off? I don't pretend to be an expert at fighting Dementors, Harry, but I'll try and help. But not right now. We outside need to I turn the gosh to dang car alarm off. Convenient time to fall ill. I will get a message to you when I'm <clears throat> feeling better. Come on, Harry. It's Come potions on, Harry. next. It's potions next. Bro, turn off your car alarm. Fucking car alarm finally went off, Jesus. Weld potion will heal most common injuries. The more attentive of you will remember that the most powerful form of I the potion told you is we had prepared potions. with only the freshly stripped bark of the Wigan tree. Mr. Weasley! <laughs> While you are in my class, you will... Harry! <laughs> Weasley, bring him to the front. Now. Settle down, Mr. Malfoy. Bring him here. Mr. Weasley, stop messing about. Right, Mr. Weasley. If you pay attention, you might actually learn something. Pick up both of them to administer the Wigan Well. Now That's right, take your time, drink the potion. And administer the potion. What happened? I will let Mr. Weasley give you a full explanation. Although his incompetence speaks for itself. Damn, bitch, cold. Thanks to Mr. Weasley's little sideshow, we no longer have time for the rest of the lesson. So... You will now be gathering the ingredients for the antidote to uncommon poisons in your own time. Ready for my next lesson. For the next class, therefore, you are to bring fire seeds, billywig stings, chiz purple carapaces, and the horn of a grap horn. Class grap dismissed. horn. Thanks a lot, Weasley. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry. Let's go outside. Well, I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. I think we should turn in. Yes, but maybe we should start looking for those potion ingredients for Professor Snape's next potions class. What do you think, Harry? Harry? Like I said, I wanted to go outside, and you're like, let's go to sleep. You guys are boring. The house point totals are to be counted. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. 
Gryffindor. Slytherin was in the lead. Harry continued to worry about the Dementors and Sirius Black, but he had plenty of other things to think about as well. You've got to help Neville. What? Neville was wandering around on the fifth floor, and Malfoy's got found him and locked him in the Muggle Studies classroom. And they've released a ghoul. Where's Hermione? Oh boy. She's dormitory. She's finding it easy to study up there. Well, I suppose it's you and me then, Ron. Did you see his Potter and Did Weasley? You see his Potter and Weasley? <laughs> no, pumpkins, let's go! That's such a good fight. Still got to save Neville from the ghoul. I mean, do we? Let's use the magical power of pause frames. Here we go. Uh, no, close. That one was close. Yes? No. Maybe? Yeah, gamer. Okay, let's get this pause. Yes! First fucking try! That's huge. Ron, we need your help down here. Okay!
friends alone. No. Okay. Let's get back to the common room. want to go to bed. Can we go now? to find her. You'll be lucky. What do you mean, please? A shame your headship, sir, doesn't want to be seen. Oh, I ran into the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Crying something dreadful. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor Head. He got very angry when she wouldn't let him in, you see. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. And to that effect, Sir Cadogan will be standing in for the fat lady. Now, I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to go to bed. school talked of nothing but Sirius Black following his assault on the fat lady. But with their first ever Care of Magical Creatures lesson fast approaching, Harry, Ron, and Hermione's attentions turned to Hagrid. Hagrid doesn't have a normal person's view of what's dangerous. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's get to the class early so we can give Hagrid some support. It's his first lesson and he's probably more nervous than we are. Stairs, what? 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 Fucking trolling me. Hermione, I'm sorry to say it, but all that studying you're doing can't be healthy. If you're not careful, your brain's going to burst you. Come here! Hermione! G up there. Meet Buckbeak. Beautiful, isn't he? Now, the first thing you gotta know about hippogriffs is they're proud. 
You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? You walk towards him, and you bow, and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to touch him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to go first? <laughs> Climb up there, just behind the wing joint. Well done. I expect you'd like to fly him. Right, catch as many as you can. You'll need to give Beaky a bit of a run before he can get airborne. Then just fly at the bats and Beaky, Beaky will do the rest. Go on then. Excuse me. I, I pressed A too much. It's very weird that B is like the takeoff button, A is the break. It just doesn't feel right. Oh my god, dude. Not bad. You might want to get a little more practice. I'll give you a C for trying. Good work. Give me a go at that thing. This will be easy. You're not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not dying, it's just a scratch. But he is dying. Harry made his way to the Quidditch match, unaware that events that day would take an even worse turn. As the Gryffindor team struggled against the weather, Harry caught sight of a giant black dog high in the stands. An eerie silence fell across the stadium, and a horribly familiar wave of cold swept over him. Dementors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harriet fell from his broom and knew no more. Harry slept restlessly in the hospital wing, sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified candy. He could hear voices whispering, but they made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Ron? Quiet. I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. Follow me. Ron? These games love to just throw peeves in as like a random boss but they don't know what else to do. Get me out of here. Your secret's not safe now, I'm in on the joke. Get me out of here. Measly Weasley, you're in a state. Out of here. You'll be here for hours, you'll never break free. Get me 
out of here. Weasley, Weasley, what can you do? Ron, about Sirius Black. He's in the dungeon. Come on. Ron, what are you doing? We can't take on Sirius Black on our own. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm like Fox, man. Psst. Look, we've got to get Professor Dumbledore. Will you shut up? He's in the corner. Go on. Harry's terminally stupid for this one, man. Polyjuice potion. I think we're even now. Perhaps I might mention that I saw Sirius Black drag you off into the night. Good night. Ron, how did you know where I was? Peeves. He couldn't wait to tell someone what Draco was up to. Ah, I brought your stuff. Including the Marauder's Map. That's done it. Yeah, I love that these guys are just apparently chilling in the Hogwarts dungeons. This place gets many visitors. It's horrible. Good. Good. Hedwig. Here you go. Here you go. Bet Hermione. Bet Hermione. Bet Hermione. Think someone's coming. <coughs> Hermione. Yo, what up, Er? Ari? Ericus? What on earth did How you do? Down here for, Harry? That's a pretty fun game. Still be in the hospital I, en I enjoy it. It's very. It's got some silly Long skips story. in it. We passed most of that stuff help. now. Now it's just mostly playing the game well. Well, let's hurry up and get out of here. Hermione, 
There's still a gap under that door, if that's any help. Please. I think we've got to get to that switch. Careful, Hermione. God, I can feel how much slower she is than Harry. Is nuts. Fine, thank you. Bro, we didn't get Sting Pellet at once! That's so good! Ugh, oh, beautiful. She's running on air. He's so fucking pleased with it. Nice gold. Pretty good. I got a big skip first try, so that was nice. Now we just have to, you know, like, we got past the, the dangerous skips. Now I just have to, like, you know, play the game or whatever. You know, that thing you got to do sometimes is to, like, play the game. Yeah, exactly. Nothing could possibly be. Those fires are, like, de deadly. Do a lot of damage if you run into them. The NPCs are almost guaranteed to run into them, but you gotta try to avoid it as much them. as you can. Brilliant. Fine. Can you Thank reach you. that switch and get us out of here? Fantastic. Yeah, nice one. I hope this means we can all get out of here now. I hate these blokes right here. I need some help. I've been hurt. One. Awesome. Try and keep out of the way. What are those what are those Wait, things? Don't you read anything? Try not to make any noise, okay? No, please grab that last one. Oh, this is tight. I'm glad, Harpy. No! Oh. That was dumb. stuck on the wall okay it's fine all right well that lost a little bit of time 
but that's okay. I think we're gonna, I think we're not gonna lose that much overall because we did gain time on good movement in the dungeon. So that one missed opportunity won't be the biggest thing in the world, I don't think. You really saved us. Oh, I oh no, Arby, you gotta go check. You never know. Horn horn for Snake's potions class tomorrow. Um, Hermione? <gasps> Where did you? Draco. He dropped it. Ron, you're amazing. There's more than enough for everyone here. Let's all turn in. I'm worn out and I really could do with a good sleep. Yeah, that's still golden. Winter came to Hogwarts. The sky lightened to a dazzling opaline white, and the muddy ground. When I feel like it's so true. Of soft snow. Inside the castle, there was a buzz of Christmas. In it's the been air. two days, and it's Marred suddenly Christmas in the castle already. Professor Snape's imminent potion. Right? Like, Ron's like narcoleptic, narcoleptic, oh god, that's such a hard word to say. Narcoleptic. We better go and find them before, we get, to find them before we get to stage class, that's for true. That's how British people sound. It's pretty, it was really hot earlier today, but then it, the temperature just dropped. You know... I do wish Sirius Black was after Malfoy instead of you, Harry. Ron! Alright, let's save time on potion ingredients. I was practicing this split yesterday. I got the debug for this game, so I've been able to practice more sections that I normally can't practice more in depth, so it's been nice. Come on, Mr. Bloke. I prefer it cold as well. Cold is cold is good. Hot is bad. 70 degrees in February is fucking disgusting. Disgusting. I do hope they find Black soon. He sounds really scary. I can't imagine how you're feeling, Harry. In the last couple days, I've gone from heat on to no AC or heat on because it was like a nice enough temperature outside that I didn't need it to AC on because it was so hot. Even wondering. without anything on. Do you think Scabbers has so been looking So feckin' annoying. Maybe I should change his diet or something. You could try. But I can't see it's going to do much for him, to be honest. Come here! Around the blow, go around the blow. Fifties at night, yeah. Hermie, where's Hermie? Oh, she's taking her sweet ass time. All right, these billywigs suck ass. You can't grab them while they're moving, only while they're stationary. Do you think they'll find biases in something that- Like, it's kind of hard to tell when they're moving because the way you're, you're approaching them really fast and in the air, right? Like, so you just end up bumping into them if they're moving. It's so fucking weird. See what I mean? Like, I, it's it's impossible to tell when you're flying into them. Just one more, and we'll have enough. That's it. We have all the belly weeks we need. Oh, 
cold, like, bracing cold wind is, is fucking wild, honestly, when it happens. Alright, we gotta be quick here. Because we're gonna want to switch to Harry while he's running to us, but he's it's gonna take him a really long time, I so we have a... This is where we can get fire food. Just one more and that's it. We have all the fire seeds we need. Alright, cool. We caught him in a good spot. Aren't those chis purples under those bushes? How do you think we get them out of there? Harry, get out of the fucking bug's way. Harry! Fucking guy sometimes. What is he doing? A chis purple carapace. Just one more and we'll have that's it. We have all the chis purple carapaces we need. Negative five with wind. Good fucking god. Nice gold. True, it is better than and Florida. As you can see, combine to form the antidote to uncommon poisons, which can be administered to cure such things as the venomous bite of a doxy. Now, I would like you to gather together the following ingredients in time for our next lesson. Flying seahorses. Yorb, I can't press the jump button. There is no jump button, Yorb. And fairy wings. We will be using these ingredients to make the girding potion. The girding potion. I have ancient runes next. You two go to charms. I'll meet you there. What is she on about? I don't like it down here. Can we go? Which is why the 
Carpe Retractum spell is useful. It allows you to seize and pull objects within your direct line of sight towards you. Sorry. Miss Granger, would you be so kind as to bring Harry and Ron to the front with you? It's your turn to return. All right, funny skip coming up. Spellbook. House points for Griffin. Well, we did it, guys. We could go looking for potions and ingredients. That new spell might come in handy. But then again, we could all turn in. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I'm worn out. But Our star, thank floor, you. Because those prefects will start doing their rounds in a few minutes. Wrong button. House point totals are to be counted. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Slytherin is in the lead. Harry was eager to begin the anti-dementor lessons Professor Lupin had promised him. What's wrong? That cat's got it in for Scabbers. I swear I heard me say that Scabbers was in my pocket, and it went for him! Anyway, where are you going? The History of Magic classroom on the fourth floor. Professor Lupin sent me a note. He's going to teach me how to fend off Dementors. That sounds fascinating! Can we come along? Can't see any reason why not. Let's go. On a pretty nice run so far. My name Bloke. Yo, what up, Sly Sonic? Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Thank you for the good luck blow. Smashing evening, let's fucking go. You play any Slon Sonic Lost World? Might tonight. Ah, oh, okay. I, you your well, I hope you do. The spell I am going see if you can figure out anything with fucking Zavik, because I hate that boss more than life itself. A, a kind of guardian that acts as a shield between you and the Dementor. What I want you to do is to go in there and bring back the spell Sonic Lost Bloke. The Patronus charm. You will face a boggart. Are a you British? You must be. You're putting the British flag after everything. You, is that of a Dementor? Good luck. It's funny how short Expecto is. Like, in console and PC, like, Expecto is just like this tiny fucking thing. I need to push it further.
right, here we go. Worm time. My name, Bloke? Is that an actual British name? Thanks, Bloke. Man, this guy must be British. From the UK, flag after every message to make it clear. Bloke underscore Great Britain. That is one of the best videos. Oh no! Of all time. Why are you looking at the meme list? Any particular reason? You don't happen to have 50,000 points, do you? It'd be fucking insane if I owe three memes right now. One of which I was about- I was literally about to finish, and then the game disc didn't work, so I had to do that one. You're insane. This man knows how to maximize his points. Thank God they don't give you special things to earn more points. I'd be so fucked with this reward. Alright, we're gonna kill Harry here for a bit of a faster movement. Sonic Chronicles the Dark Brotherhood to that meme list. I'm not sure what else does. Plenty of stuff though. You'd add the cat in the hat to that. Almost out. Come on, hurry up. Yes. Get out of my way. The Patronus Spellbook!
Barb is just a fucking maniac with these points. A fucking sniper. Harry. Harry. I heard you my heard dad. James. Yeah. Why? You didn't know my dad, did you? Remus? <clears throat> Severus. I uh, will be with you in a moment. I will go and keep Professor Snape busy. I'm afraid you will have to make your own way back. Try not to be seen. You know, I can't stand Snape. <laughs> Ron just yeah, says this out loud when he's in the fucking next room, like he, like he think he can't hear you. Don't be so sure, Ron. What? Well, while you were waiting for Harry, I was studying these books. I think we can get our hands on some fairy wings in Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade? But how are we going to get there before the next potions class? The map shows that there's a secret passage under the statue of the humpback witch on the third floor. What do you think? <laughs> Got it! The Draconophore's spell book! Spell is so lame compared to PC. Out of my way, blokes. Blip, 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 blip. Oh no, it's Snoop. Snape. Which is just full of fucking awesome surprises, isn't aren't they? Over here, Hermione. Hmm. Yeah, mobile sucks. Ass and a half, so true. All right, we have skips. We can mess up here, so. Oh shit! Whoa. How did I not get caught? Wow. They must not have any vision when they're turning. All right, don't fuck this up. Descendium. We paused. Okay. Looks so dopey.
What's my PB for this? It's a 205 load list. The RTA times are in best possible and some of best, so whatever you're seeing down there is going to be way lower than what ends up on the timer. You're looking at RTA time there, but the timer itself is loadless. Something to do with the skip here, but you have to go through this door as Ron. Going through that door as Harry will crash the game. I should load into a Neville cutscene. Cool. Oh, just please. Let all right, guys, that's all the skips out of the way. No. What's wrong? I lost my list of passwords, and Sirius Black must have found it. And Sir Cadogan just let him in. Professor McGonagall is so furious with me that she's forbidden anyone to give me the password into the tower. Hang on, Fortuna Major. My pleasure. They're all going through the floor! It's so clear! That's amazing! They don't even, like, get up on the thing! Oh, fuck. Wait. What a night. I'm sorry. I just want to turn in. Yeah, me too. Many nights, no one slept well. Gryffindor Tower feared the return of Sirius Black. Throughout the castle, rooms were searched and security was tightened. But the elusive Black remained at large. And much to Ron and Hermione's concern, there was no sign of Scabbers or Crookshanks either. Look, I'm just saying that it's very weird that the night Scabbers goes missing, that cat of yours decides to slip out too. Okay, Ron, you've made your point. I'm as worried as you are. But right now we're missing something else. Potion ingredients. <laughs> Ron, I know your pet's missing, but we need to go to class. Let's look for doxy nests in the trees. I'll bet that's where we'll find eggs. Ron! Yeah. This is a good run, though. Like, all things considered. I think Glacius and Marauder's clip both weren't, like, the best they could have been, but... Clearly, we're still, uh, we're still moving along. We got a new strat for grabbing doxy eggs. You should be able to do this shit fast today. Come here! Or do you think they'll ever catch Sirius Black? Ron, I don't think Harry needs reminding about him. Egg. 
Oh my god, the Doxies are following them. Wait, wait, what am I doing? I don't need Hermione. I need some antidote. We need to get I've been poisoned. I need some antidote. Mm. This poison's really affecting me. I need some antidote. Later. Hope you don't die. Go fishing. Those are flying seahorses in the lake. Stuck, come on. Hey, come over here. Okay. Holy Lord, is she slow. Bloke. Yo, what up, Shovel? Just bloke in right now. These things have fucking horrible cycles. We're never gonna get this. Come on! No! Ugh. Wait, we got one? A dragonfly. It's insane. Like the the startup animation for the dragon statue and their their the way their cycles work, it's like you can never hit them. Yeah, like oh and he has like these invulnerability. Alright, here he comes. That's it. We have all the dragonflies we need. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Crazy. The Hogwarts grounds are so big in this game, and there's like nothing in them. Lots of pretty looking nothing. Reminds me of HP one. What the corner? Ugh. Yeah, 
I still can't figure out a good line for here. I've been taking it too tight every time, so I'm gonna try this one, maybe? Because there's, like, the entrance to the bridge juts out a little bit, so you can't just, like, aim for the direct side of it. Yeah, like that. And the geometry in this game is incredible. You still get caught on things. All right, but this should be a pretty chunky gold for dragonflies. Oh, not as big as I wanted it. It's okay though. Over here, Ron. Yeah. I wonder what time load list we're looking at. This is the way. Hopefully we can sub too. That would be pretty cool, I think. And this leaves you with the girding potion. Which may be consumed to increase one's endurance for a considerable number of weeks. I do warn those of you who wish to experiment with this potion that the maximum dosage is no more than two of these vials. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. Sorry, Ron. I've got to go to the Quidditch I've stadium. I've got to go to the Quidditch Good stadium. Luck. One time I played this game and I got a memory leak during night Draco, three and it fucking tanked you know all of day four and night four. For the one with jinxed balls. Well, Flint and Derek have done it. They put the real crate in the courtyard in front of the clock tower. The cup's ours. Let's go wipe out Gryffindor. He's looking right at the camera. <laughs> you took your time. I've just heard that Slytherin have swapped the Quidditch ball crate for one with jinxed balls in it. We've got to tell Professor Dumbledore. We can't just go telling tales and expect him to stop the match. We've at least got to show him the evidence. Did they say where they'd put the real crate? In the courtyard in front of the clock tower. Okay. Oh man, Let's nobody would ever see that. Into the, courtyard. the fun fact, Ron starts out of bounds here. If you switch to him too early, he'll fall through the floor. You gotta wait for him to walk through the wall and then switch to him. These games were programmed so well. Amazing. And then they have like two separate cutscenes where they basically explain what you need to do in order to find the Quidditch balls. Look, there it is. We can't get to it from here. The only way to get to it is to go out into the grounds and then fly in. Or something. Seems like you have a pretty specific idea. Right. Ron runs so stiffly. Oh, wait, another cutscene here. How are we going to get into that courtyard? We have to find Buckbeak. Let's go. If you're running all the way out here, I feel like you've probably figured out that you need to use Buckbeak hey, for this, because how else are you supposed to fly yes. in this game? It's just fucking incredible, really, that they felt the need they needed to explain this to you twice. Oi! Get over here! Hmm. Rise to that courtyard in front of the clock tower.
Let me up. Got it. Now to go to the Quidditch Stadium. Let me on. Thank you. Damn bird needs to be bowed to every fucking time. Come on, Buckbeak. Very good. Ron and Hermione arrived just in time to show the evidence to Professor. Boy, it would have been fun to play the Quidditch match, but you won. It's cool. From the Quidditch balls and allowed the match to continue. This gave the Gryffindor team the help that they needed, allowing Harry to catch the Golden Snitch and win not only the game but the Quidditch Cup as well. Fantastic. What's the matter with Hagrid? Hagrid? It's no use. <laughs> He's going to be executed at sunset. I couldn't help him. Oh, Hagrid. What can we do? There's nothing you can do. The time's set and that's it. Rip. So you just run along and turn in. I've got to go and make Beaky comfortable. Maybe we could. Oh, I don't know. No. Hagrid's right. There's really nothing we can do. We should turn in. Yeah, they're gonna kill that guy. Let's just go to bed. The house point totals are to be counted. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Slytherin is in the lead. Harry, Ron, and Hermione paced the Gryffindor common room, worried about Hagrid. They're going to execute Buckbeak tonight. Good. We've got to go and see Hagrid. He can't just sit there on his own waiting for the executioner. You're right. Let's go. All right, let's sneak past some trolleys. Nice job, Arb. It only took you a little bit, but you got it. Happy. <laughs> Alright, good trolls. Hopefully it wasn't too cold in the time you've been gone. <laughs> Heat did kick on. Ron! 
Okay. As Harry, Ron, and Hermione arrived at Hagrid's hut, the executioner came to seal Buckbeak's fate. <laughs> He's here. Don't let him see you. Oh, Buckbeak! How could they? Scabbers! It's okay, Scabbers! Come back! Ron was dragged into the Whomping Willow. Oh, yes, he's dead. Harry and Hermione chased after him. I think it's the same Whomping Willow that textures that's used from HP2. Not the complete same, obviously, because the one in HP2 has, like, fists, but... And an eye? <laughs> fucking prick goes all the way back there. Like, what is that? I'm just gonna heal her real quick. Wow, well, we gotta fight the Doxy. Is Brandino real? I've been poisoned. Well, I've I think so. Antidote. What up, Cry? How you doing? Thank God Harry's doing fuck all over there. Grab that shit, come on! Waiting, yeah, same here. 
I have Monday off of work and I had a half day of work today, so it was very, very nice. Big saves there, jeez. The tunnel from the Whomping Willow led into the Shrieking Shack. Harry discovered that the Black Dog was in fact Sirius Black, and that Black had not been trying to murder him, but had in fact been hunting down Peter Pettigrew. The man that had truly betrayed Harry's parents to Lord Voldemort. No! You can go to Azkaban. No! As they marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts, the full moon rose, and Professor Lupin transformed into a werewolf. Here he comes. Here comes another. Love randomized behavior. Now captured, Sirius Black awaited his fate on the seventh floor of the West Tower. Harry and Hermione awoke in the hospital wing, eager to explain to Dumbledore what had happened. Professor, Black's telling the truth. He's innocent, Professor. I believe everything you say, but there is nothing I can do. What we need is more time. Hermione understood immediately. Dumbledore was giving them permission to use the time turner she'd been using all year to attend several lessons at once. We're going to use the time turner to go back three hours, rescue Buckbeak, and then save Sirius. Cool. 
Having rescued Buckbeak, <laughs> they don't even get you don't even get to do it. They're just like, okay, you rescued him. To Black's capture by the Dementors, Harry's mind wrestled with the vision of the shadowy figure and the ghostly creature that he had seen by the lakeside. I know it sounds crazy, but I think it was my dad. Harry, you mustn't be seen. It was time for the rescuer to appear. But no one was coming to help this time. And then it hit him. He had not seen his father. He had seen himself. I've got to save them. Alright. Well, the last gameplay coming up. Damn, did it hit him and it didn't hit him. It disappeared. I overshot it. I got there before the dementia. That's insane. Alright, one more, I think. I guess I think I wait till it goes dark here. Harry, you conjured a Patronus and saved Sirius. I know, but they'll soon be coming to take him to the tower. We've got to hide. Do you reckon Sirius is up there yet? Who's that coming out of the castle? Mutner, the executioner. He's gone to fetch the Dementors. One of us has got to get Buckbeak to that tower. What are you doing? Get to the tower! I'm bowing to the fucking bird! Hurry up! The Dementors are coming! No shit! Working on it. can I ever thank? Get on! There's not much time! The Dementors are coming! Go! We'll see each other again. You truly are your father's son, Harry. Looks like we're in 156 territory. Nobody at Hogwarts knew the truth behind what had happened the night that Sirius, Buckbeak, and Pettigrew had vanished, except Harry, Hermione, Professor Dumbledore, and Ron. I trust that you will make the best of the last day of term to say your goodbyes for another year and to do anything that remains to be done. I'll remind you that we will soon hold the House Cup ceremony. But if you would like to run along now, 
Come back to me. Come on, 155. Come on. I think we're just gonna miss 150. Yeah. We did it! Big PV! And now we reach the end of another eventful school year together. So, for their loyalty, courage, and their significant contributions to the school, it gives me great pleasure to award the House Cup to Gryffindor. Man, the game ends so fucking abruptly. <laughs>